Okay, hello everyone. This is Angel Terry here with my first Let's Play. I chose a game that I saw on GOG.com called Paper Sorcerer. Uh, it's an RPG game with a really unique style that I actually enjoyed when I played it a little bit. So it'll be this will be sort of a, a semi-blind Let's Play, but um, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, I hope the volume is okay. I put down the game volume music a little bit so you can hear me uh, over it. And uh, let's get this puppy started. Um, definitely not playing it on the 1980s. This does it the old, old way, I think, without maps or something, like a hardcore mode. Now, I'm a person that enjoys story over combat. So I always do the easy route because, you know, that's what I like to do. I'd rather spend my time learning about the story than getting, you know, angry at combat. So I'm going to go easy. Once there was a sorcerer who lived in a tower with an apprentice. The sorcerer terrorized the land with evil minions until one day they roam no more. <laughs> At night, however, lights could still be seen burning in the windows of the dark tower. The king saw this was his chance to attack the sorcerer directly. He gathered four loyal and highly skilled subjects, entrusting them with a powerful artifact. An artifact that would seal away the sorcerer, ending this reign of terror once and for all. Nice hats. On the way, the group traversed dark caves, poisonous marshes, and ancient ruins. They climbed the dark tower floor by floor, beset by evil minions at every step. That's unsafe. They need some railings on that. Once they reached the top, they confronted the sorcerer and activated the artifact. In a blinding flash of light, sorcerer and minions were all whisked away. I think that's what it said. However, that is just the beginning of our tale. Sorry about that, my sister keeps texting me. <clears throat> you awaken with a start, reflexively trying to cast a spell that dies in your throat when you see your surroundings. The last thing you remember was fighting four of the king's lapdogs in really, really bad helmets. Banan the warrior, Richerge, Rich, whatever, the ranger, Akimi the mage, and Yal Ran the priest. They had a book that glowed with a fearsome light. You weren't the type to be easily scared, but as you look into that light, you felt truly terrified like you never have before. Hmm. But you have all your arms, legs, fingers, and senses intact, so things could always be worse. Yeah. And checking to make sure you are intact, you confirmed you are A. Now, there is no real difference between a, a man and a woman. The only difference I know is when you put your hand up to cast spells, it looks different, and I think the symbols on your hands or something are different. So I'm going to pick a woman. The first thing you figure you should do is find out where you are. I uh, used to be yes, do, 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 okay. Whoa. Oh, right. Well, this place apparently doesn't have very good lighting, so we got a bed and a door. Oop. Advanced dial. Damn it, Liz. Ugh. So uh, open the menu, press M or escape buttons. Okay. You have the right option to search for occasion appear. Press the space bar. Now, the one thing I found out is the way that this art style is, it's in a black and white look. And whatever you see is what you see. So when you search something, you're not going to be, you know, looking around in the dark areas because there'll, there'll never be anything there when you search for, like, secret buttons or whatever. Okay, so let's look around. Ooh, search. Sorry, if you hear a shout in the background, that's Mr. Lightman. You okay? Oh, okay. Uh, you feel some kind of subtle force in this room. It's making it difficult difficult to concentrate and your head feels all fuzzy. And you head. You can slowly feel your magic seeping away along with your will to stand, escape, or do anything that doesn't involve laying down. Whatever kind of magic this is, it's truly insidious. 
You feel yourself nodding off already. You should probably lie down before you hurt yourself. Yeah, we should lie down before we hurt ourselves in this awesome bed here. Even though you have only been conscious for a short amount of time, you feel extremely tired. Do you want to rest for a bit? It doesn't take long before you feel yourself slipping into a deep sleep. Right before you begin to slumber, however, you have the distinct impression you're being watched. Creeper! You have a dream where you're talking with some friends you had when you were younger, but the room you're talking in is unfamiliar with plain stone walls and a table with several bags on it. When you open the bag in the center, a snake jumps out and slithers out of the room. When you awaken, there's a mouse sitting on the end of your bed, staring at you. You're an interesting one. A sorcerer? That's some dark magic. Binding souls and calling them when needed? That can be a dangerous power. Dangerous, but useful. Okay, uh, what do you want? I've been waiting for someone like you. I would like to escape, and I think you can help me. Right now, you have been sealed inside a prison of sorts. The king has been trapping threats to the kingdom here for decades. Oh, okay. I think I know a way to escape, but I can't do it alone, and a sorcerer like you is just what I need. Oh, yay! If you would be willing to help me, I would be able to ensure we both get out. Now, we have to help the mouse because we can't get out any other way. All right, I'll help you. Excellent. The first thing you need to do is get out of this cell block. Suddenly, a burst of intense magic energy fills the room. The oppressive force that was draining your magic is gone, as is the mouse. You hear a whispery voice in your mind. I will find you again soon. Okay, well, snap. All right, oh, somebody blew the door open. You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your former thralls to aid in your escape. Choose wisely. They will function as your party for the rest of your adventures here. Okay, now... What happens is, is that including you, you can pick five other people, okay? Your party can only have three people in it with three people as the backup, so to speak. Now, when they say these are the people you get, these are the people you're going to get through the entire game. And there's a lot of options we have here. Now, I have tried a couple of these different uh, guys here and girls and what I'm going to pick here is what I feel is a good party um, you could feel free in the comments below to suggest maybe your own party or you know if you agree or disagree or whatnot so right now we can only pick one person so I'm gonna actually start with the vampire the vampire prince of darkness using dark magic he drains the life from your foes and redistributes it to the party the vampire could be thought of as a more offensive-minded healer. He sacrifices his own HP to heal the party, relying on his draining abilities to keep himself alive. Additionally, he has an assortment of damage and control spells to keep things interesting. So his examples are Life Drain and Dark Sacrifice. Okay. He equips great swords, light and medium armor, and one accessory. Would you like to summon? Yes. The vampire has been summoned to use him well. All right, can we save right now? Uh, yes. Okay, save file one. I, you can't name the files. Okay, sadly so. I just gotta remember which one they are. All right. So, oops. As you, as soon as you pass through the doorway, you see a single guard barreling down the hallway towards you. Hey, you! How did you get out of your cell? What do you do? Well, you know, like there was this little mouse. Uh, and uh, the mouse like blew the door off well let's see since the guy's running at me a little angry I think I'm gonna attack that mofo it's just one lone guard you think to yourself how tough can he be all right so combat is turn-based right. energy you use energy to perform your skills and it regenerates a one per round uh, energy not used in combat can be used outside of battle for healing skills and the like all right the small dice icon next to each skill in the menu shows how many turns. Okay. Let's see the messages again. Oh, excuse me. Go to the info section. Sorry about that. 
Oh, one second, guys. Let me see if I can turn the... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can turn the music down a little bit. There we go. Okay. What, honey? Oh, okay. But here's your battle screen. Alright, so... All your enemies will be, you know, lined up here. So we start with the vampire. Now, you have your HP, your defense, and your energy. Uh, what happens is, is when an enemy attacks you, your defense will go down. It'll take your defense first, and then your hit points will come after. So, we have, let's see, for skills we have a drain life. We can't, eh, well, nobody needs to heal, so we'll just attack guard. Now, as the sorcerer, I start out with Black Bolt. This is like your basic magic skill. Okay. So we got victory. So gems is actually your currency. Uh, so we got wooden coin, an iron mace, and some experience. Well, hold on one guys a second, I gotta go turn that down again, because that's really loud. Okay, let's try it at that volume. Sorry about that, it's just, while well, I was doing the, whoops! I don't know, honey. I might. Sorry, my husband is texting me at the same time. Um, because while we were doing that battle, that music was actually louder than I was. Okay, so... I just want to go over the graphic design of this right now. It's it's just really interesting. I hope you can see, hopefully this shows it well, but you can actually see a layout over top of it, almost like a misty feeling. So let's go check out some of these doors. The door is sealed and won't open. You get the sickening feeling of some inhuman intelligence trying to probe your mind. Mind flare. The door is sealed and won't open. From the other side, you hear a series of unintelligible screams. Ugh, nice. So this is a prison of some sort that the king put people in. The door is sealed. From the other side, you hear the sounds of loud snoring. Well, that person apparently is taking a nap. You feel an overwhelming presence from the other side of the door, so powerful you start to get a headache. Yikes. One moment, you hear some kind of strange barking sound from the other side. Whatever is on the other side of this door, you're reasonably sure it ain't human. Mm, well, if it's barking, I don't think it's human. Okay, so no sounds come from there. The door still won't open. You hear no sounds from the other side. Alright, so you probably see occasionally the little search appearing in the upper corner. Let's open this door. Okay, so these areas are set out literally like a labyrinth maze. Okay, pretty much. It's actually nice. Let's see what's over here. We got a chest and a box and a button. Can we press that? Now, usually things sticking out like that are actually secret buttons. The small chest is locked. Okay, so when you have a locked chest like this, um, you can examine it. All right, let's see what we got here. This one craftsmanship, but the lock looks a little plain. If I had an item, I could use item, but I don't have anything, so it doesn't work. We could try to open it, but duh, it's locked. Now, if you had, I think it's the goblin. Uh, I believe the goblin can unlock chests outside of combat, if I recall, but we don't have anything, so we need to leave this alone. Now, we have a chest here. Inside this chest is a veritable armory. However, their quality is dubious at best, and you get the impression they were either being sent for repairs or to get scrapped. You find a worthless iron staff, a shameful iron axe, a worn iron dagger, a junky longsword, a dented iron mace, a shoddy greatsword, a rusty iron chain, a makeshift warhammer, a poorly made katar, and an assortment of old rags to drape yourself in. You should make sure to equip your characters with some basic gear. Okay, so essentially, this chest gave you basic gear for any of the people you may have picked. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, 
what we want to do, we want to go to equipment, and let's see, for this sorcerer now, if I recall the correctly, the sorcerer, your character can actually use any weapon whatsoever, but since they're a magic user, I'm going to give them a staff, okay? Um, you're also the only character, I believe, that can use a weapon, armor, two accessories, and a rune. Some of your characters can only use a weapon and armor. Some can only use weapon and no armor. Alright, let's put some rags on. And the uh, vampire can only use great swords. Whoops. Can only use great swords. Dang damn it. Oh, stop it. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt. Okay. So, let's save. Okay. So we can't open that. <clears throat> see what's in here. Another door. Oh. All right, we can search. The bed in this room is unusually small. Okay. So, um, in this game, you want to click on everything. Tables, chairs, stools, vases, cabinets, bags, crap on shelves. Because things can have hidden buttons on them you won't be able to see. So let's see. Oh, we found a broom. Oh, hot diggity. And a mop. You found a key. It's in here. Inside the cabinet is a book titled The Peaceful Path, Learning to Put Banditry Behind You. Do you want to take it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> You decide to steal a book about learning not to steal. <laughs> okay, that's funny. You notice that the bed is particularly tiny. Alright, so let's examine the bed. The bed itself has been made so tightly you could bounce a button off of it. However, underneath the bed you find a small dusty box. Inside is small oh inside is a small wooden idol carved to resemble a rotund female goblin. Do you take it? Yeah, sure. You never know what might come in handy. Yeah, you know, because... Can you open the bed? The great trepidation you pull the covers back to reveal... Nothing, except for a smell that reminds you of freshly quite cut grass. It's quite pleasant. Huh. Can we have any used item? No? Okay. So we don't need anything of that. Now we did find a small key, so we should be able to open this. Small chest is locked. Use item. Aha! Plain key. You unlock the chest with a plain key. The click sound it makes is quite satisfying. The lock is now open. What do we get? You have found four restoration crystals. Um, if I recall, that's the items that resurrect a party member when they die. Um, the thing is, is when you do a higher level, they become more and more scarce to find. Which I think is pretty cool, you know. Right, a very important in hard in hard and ITD's difficulty, aside from a few high level skills, restoration crystals are the only way to revive dead characters. Wow. They restore HP as well as resurrect the dead. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so that's good. <clears throat> Alright, was there anything else over here? Nope. Okay. I love the music in this game, it's really neat. Yeah. You'll hear my husband sometimes uh, comment in the background. That's cool. A pair of guards are standing around murmuring. As soon as you enter, they turn to face you. The shocked look on their faces is absolutely priceless. However, they quickly regain their composure and rush into attack. Okay, other than HP and energy is one other thing you need to keep track. It's your defense. Okay, so like I was saying, so example, if a guard attacks you for 10 damage and you have 4 defense, so it'll eat up your 4 defense and you'll get six hit points uh, removed from you. Um, it goes down with each hit, but is restored after battle. If an attack causes zero damage, it's because the target's defense is higher than the damage cause. It can increase through armor and certain skills. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see how this volume is. Okay. Okay, so now I have to choose... Which one to attack? Ooh, part of me. Alright, that goes all my vampire's defense. 
these uh, guards, they don't really have that many hit points. They're pretty weak. Alright, so that eight, um, so I hit him for nine, it looks like, so I think I hit, it took off four of his defense and the rest he was hit as damage. I believe that's how it works. I don't usually know, I just, you know, look at it and if the nuggets got more defense still, I like do everything to try to get rid of it. Alright, so we got a leather helmet and a basic tough room. Okay. Alright. Would you like to go to the next level? Yes, please! I have cleared block one, level one! <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now... This, uh, prison is actually separated in blocks, and each, blocks, each block has a certain amount of levels. Okay, so we just went up a level. Alright, whoops. Wrong button. You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your former thralls to aid in your escape. Ooh. Okay. Now, so we have a we have a melee type healer. So the next person I like to take is the skeleton. The skeleton, a stalwart warrior, keeps the focus of the enemy through challenges while using defensive skills to keep himself and his and the party alive. Thanks to heavy armor and an assortment of defensive skills, the skeleton excels in protecting the more fragile members of the party. So, uh, you have challenge, which causes the enemy to focus, so it's pretty much a taunt. Reform, passively regenerate some HP. He also has some abilities that can, um, I believe, raise and bolster our defense. So he can equip long swords, light, medium, and heavy armor, a shield, and one accessory. So yes, I would like the skeleton. It's a shame I can't name him, because I would call him, like, Bonesy. Alright. Now, do you have an accessory? I don't want to give that to you. Alright, so you can use long swords. Sorry about this noise in the background, guys. Yeah, uh, Mr. Lightman's just getting together a um, video we did of Anarchy Online, just uh, setting it up so we can get it up on YouTube, so I apologize with the stuff in the background. Okay. You come across a hunched over old goblin sweeping the hallway. As you approach, he turns around and his eyes slowly widen till they're the size of saucers. He looks around to make sure no one is around and quickly hobbles up to you. What are you doing here? How did you get out of your cell? Oh, well, you know, a very strange mouse kind of helped me. I didn't do anything. He squints at you. A mouse? He thinks for a moment before suddenly letting out a gasp. The spirit of the book. The who or the what? Yeah, seriously, the who or the what? what? After a furtive glance over his shoulder, he leans in closer. Right now, you are in a magical artifact of great power. The Librum Claustrum. A book that isn't really a book at all. More like its own extra-dimensional space. It is used by heroes under orders from the king to imprison evil and maintain peace in the realm. Evil, such as you and I. So apparently you're an evil goblin janitor, huh? When someone or something is put here, they are supposed to go into a deep sleep for all eternity, dreaming the dreams of madmen. But, as we know, that isn't always the case. Sometimes, the spells designed to sap our power don't work. Other times, the spirit of the book has been known to interfere. Okay, so apparently he's saying that mouse that helped us was the spirit of the Librum, whatever the heck it was. Either way, the result is usually the same. An inmate escapes and the guards hunt them down. They relish the excitement. Alright, so what should we ask? Uh, what exactly is the spirit of the book? I don't really know. No one does. I think she's an inmate who escaped like you. Okay. Uh, what are these gems everyone's carrying around? Ah, those gems have a very special property. If you look into one and concentrate, you can briefly see the outside world through someone else's eyes. For the people in here, it offers a brief but intoxicating bit of escapism. Most people here actually use them as currency. 
After you've been here for so long, being able to see the real world, even briefly, is more valuable than any sword or diamond. Hmm. After hearing the explanation, you feel very curious. Do you look into a gem? Now, I'm going to do it just to show you guys what it does, but normally I don't do this because gems are your currency. You look into the gem and concentrate. You feel yourself slowly being drawn in until everything goes dark. There's a flash of light and suddenly you're standing at a bathroom sink. You look into the mirror and see a middle-aged man staring back at you. Placing a hand on your rather round gut, you let out a deep sigh. Mm, I used to be so skinny, you think to yourself in a voice you've never heard before. Suddenly there's another flash of light and you're back in the leave room with the goblin. He gives you a knowing look and nods. The gem in your hand has crumbled to dust. See, now that's what happens. You lose the gem, so it's like, eh. Okay, what do you do here? I mostly just clean up after the guards. They let me stay out because I repent in my evil ways, and I make the laundry smell like freshly cut grass. But believe me, if I could, I would burn this whole place to the ground. I just forgot to put the letter I in there. Uh, is there anything I can do to avoid the guards? Heh, <laughs> you're lucky you met me. It so happens I know... He sees the wooden idol you're carrying. Hey, that's mine! How did you get it? I found it while I was ransacking someone's room. Come on, let's be honest. That was my room. Do you just go around stealing anything not nailed down? Yeah, pretty much. My characters are always big kleptomaniacs. I always have that problem in games. I'm also a really bad pack rat. Hmm, every chance I get. You scoundrel. He grins. You remind me of myself when I was younger. On the bottom is a hidden latch. Inside is something I was saving, but you could probably use it more than me. Inside the idol, you find a scroll of the owl. As I was saying, there is a safe place. He turns around abruptly at the sound of two men talking in a room down the hall. There isn't much time. He hands you a red feather. There is a safe place where others like you are hiding. If you continue through the cell block, you will eventually come across a dark pit. Jump into it, because you know that's totally safe. This feather will ensure you wind up at the sanctuary. Good luck. Oh yeah, watch out for the knight. He's in charge of this block. What, hun? Yeah, let's go jump there. Yeah, this feather is just going to keep all of you. But... <laughs> Before you can ask any more questions, he turns around and hurries down the stairs behind you. Okay, so I'm going to stop this here. Um, so yeah, so now we got a feather, we apparently got a scroll from the goblin, and we will continue our adventures next time. This is Angel Terry, and have a good one.